Hey there, fitness fam. Buckle up, because today we're diving into the wild world of gym no-nos, uncovering the top five blunders that newbie gym goers stumble into without even realizing it. Let's face it, hitting the gym isn't just about sweating it out. Sometimes the real workout is figuring out what on earth you're supposed to do amidst all those machines and muscle-bound fascionistas. Now, you might be thinking you've got this gym thing down, but whether you're a fresh-faced newbie or a seasoned gym rat, there's always a sneaky mistake waiting to trip you up. So we're here to guide you through this fitness minefield with humor, wit, and maybe a little drama. And because we love to keep you hanging, there's a golden nugget of wisdom waiting at the end. A secret tip on what to do an hour post-gym that'll change the game for you. So stick around, you won't want to miss this. Alright folks, let's dive into our first golden nugget of gym wisdom. The grand world of gym machines. Picture this, machines are like those trusty sidekicks in every superhero movie. Reliable, easy to get along with, and they've got your back when you're just starting out to flex your powers in the gym. Especially for the gym newbies out there who haven't got a personal trainer whispering sweet nothings about form and technique. Machines are your secret weapon. They're like training wheels for your muscles, helping you avoid those, oops, did I do that moments that could lead to some not so funny injuries. Machines are fab at making workouts less of a brain teaser, guiding you through that magical mind-muscle connection we all crave. Once you've mastered the art, say the perfect chest press, you'll find yourself ready to take on the wild world of gymming without those mechanical buddies. But here's a twist in the plot. Machines are a bit like GPS set on the easiest route. They keep you on a straight path, meaning your stabilizer muscles get to chill out a bit too much. Enter free weights, the plot twist that demands those stabilizers to wake up and keep you balanced. It's like moving from autopilot to actually driving the car. Now, don't get it twisted, machines are not the gym villains. They're especially awesome for beginners and those looking to really zero in on specific muscle groups without turning workout time into injury time. And let's not forget the all-star of the machine world, the cable machine. It's like the Swiss Army knife of gym equipment, versatile enough to keep your workouts fresh and challenging. However, machines do have their kryptonite. They're not one size fits all and can sometimes feel like you're moving in a way that's about as natural as a robot doing the tango. That's why, once you're feeling a bit more like a gym superhero and perhaps have a trusty sidekick or trainer to show you the ropes, mixing in some free weight action is key. It's about balance, folks, finding that sweet spot where machines and free weights coexist in your workout regime, like peanut butter and jelly, Batman and Robin, or, well, you get the picture. All right, team, let's tackle tip number two, the trap of overdoing isolation exercises. You know who you are, the mirror admirer, flexing those biceps for the 17th time today? While there's no denying the allure of sculpted arms, there's a whole world beyond those curls calling your name. Isolation exercises, like those beloved bicep curls, tricep kickbacks, and the ever so detailed lateral raises, are like focusing on the sprinkles when you haven't even baked the cake yet. Sure, they're colorful and fun, but they only work one muscle group at a time. It's like trying to write a novel one letter at a time. Not the most efficient way to tell a story, right? Enter the heroes of our gym tale, compound movements. These are your squats, deadlifts, bench presses, and other exercises that invite multiple muscle groups into the party. They're like the group projects of workouts. More muscles involved means more work done, and yes, in less time. Plus, they let you hoist heavier weights, which is like upgrading from a slingshot to a cannon if your goal is to build strength and muscle. Now don't get me wrong, isolation exercises haven't lost their invite to the fitness fiesta, they're fantastic for spotlighting those muscles that might need a bit of extra love or when you're aiming to hit those specific muscle goals. But think of them like the dessert after your main meal of compound exercises. Sweet and satisfying, but not the bulk of your nutritional intake. So before you become best friends with the dumbo rack for those isolation sessions, remember to lay your foundation with compound movements. It's about building your fitness mansion from the ground up, not just painting the front door. And hey, if you're going to be sore, might as well earn that soreness with a workout that hits every nook and cranny, right? Let's get those compound movements in and save those solo acts for the encore. All right, moving on to tip number three, the whole start light strategy. Now, if you're new to the gym scene, it's totally normal to eye those heavy weights like they're a wild beast. Starting light is your safety net, helping you nail down that perfect form and dodge any unnecessary trips to Injuryville. But here's the kicker. Playing it too safe might actually hold you back from your gains. Welcome to the world of progressive overload, the golden rule of getting stronger and packing on muscle. It's all about gradually upping the ante, pushing your muscles to adapt by lifting heavier and heavier. Now, you might be thinking, 
I'll just add a couple of pounds here and there. But if you're barely scratching the surface of what you can really lift, you're selling your potential short. To truly beef up your strength, you've got to challenge your limits. Safely, of course. But hey, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither are biceps of steel. Starting with lighter weights isn't just okay, it's smart. Aim for those 15 to 20 reps per set at first to master the art form over the ego. Then, as you wrap up your session, why not throw in a bit more weight and aim for 8 to 12 reps? It's like building your own workout pyramid, laying the foundation for greatness. As you get comfy with the weights, feel free to add a bit more every couple of weeks. It's like leveling up in a game, but instead of XP, you're gaining strength. Just remember, we're not here for a marathon of reps. Keep it below 30 per set unless you're training for the Endurance Olympics. And here's a fun fact to chew on. Lifting heavy can turn you into a fat-burning furnace. Forget the endless hours of cardio everyone thinks they need to shred pounds. With consistent weightlifting and the right protein intake, you'll be torching fat while building muscle. I mean, I practically waved goodbye to cardio because the weights were doing all the heavy lifting. Pun intended. Grab those weights, start smart, and gradually turn up the heat. Your dream physique isn't just a fantasy, it's a workout away. And now, for tip number four, the art of staying hydrated. This might sound like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how many folks turn into human raisins because they forget to bring enough water to the gym. It's not just the newbies either, it's an easy oversight that can happen to the best of us. Also, your muscles need proper hydration so they can bring in the necessary nutrients to build and repair. And here's a splash of reality. Our bodies are like walking, talking cucumbers with anxiety, made up mostly of water. When we exercise, we're basically leaking water like a faulty faucet, sweating out about a liter every hour. And if we don't top up the tank, we're on the express train to Dehydration City. Trust me, it's not a place you want to visit. The locals are cranky, everything cramps, and the brain fog is so thick you'd think you were in London. So what's the hack? It's simple. Bring your own hydration station to the gym. Whether it's a trusty water bottle or something jazzed up with hydration powder or amino acids, make sure you've got your liquid companion by your side. It's like having a sidekick that keeps you cool minus the cape and tights. And hey, if you're planning on breaking a serious sweat with an intense workout or a marathon session, why not upgrade to a sports drink or some coconut water? They're like the VIP hydration options, packing in those electrolytes and sugars your body craves after a good workout. Just keep an eye on those added sugars. Treat them like a friend who always wants to crash on your couch. Welcome in moderation, but you don't want them taking over. Remember, staying hydrated is easier than trying to find a free machine during peak hours at the gym. So fill up, drink up, and keep those muscles happy and hydrated. And here we are, rounding off with tip number five. Don't be shy, ask for help. Yeah, we're talking about tackling Jim's social Siberia heads on. There's this myth that the gym is a no chat zone, where asking for help is as taboo as wearing socks with sandals. But here's the thing, that's all it is, a myth. Ever find yourself eyeing a weight that seems to be whispering, come on, lift me, but you're not quite sure you could handle it alone? That's your cue to ask for a spotter. Believe it or not, the gym is packed with folks who are there for the same reason you are, to get better, stronger, and faster. And guess what? In my experience, gym goers are more than willing to lend a hand, offer advice, or spot you so you don't end up pinned under a barbell, making awkward eye contact with the ceiling. Now I get it. Unsolicited advice can feel as welcome as a rainstorm at a picnic. Nobody wants to be mid-lift and get a lecture on form from a well-meaning stranger. But here's the kicker. We often let our pride turn us into solo acts, afraid to admit we could use an assist. Let's face it, being new to the gym is like being a freshman all over again. You need all the guidance you can get. And there's plenty of evidence out there showing that folks who have a bit of social or professional support with their fitness journey tend to smash their goals way more often. It's the difference between trying to self-teach rocket science and having Elon Musk on speed dial. Sure, hiring a personal trainer is the gold standard, but not everyone's wallet is on board with that plan. And if that's you, no sweat. Swallow that pride and just ask for help when you need it. Despite the rumors, the gym is not a wilderness of lone wolves. Those muscle-bound mentors, aka your fellow gym goers, are usually more than happy to share a tip or give you a hand. After all, they were beginners once too, and remember what it's like to navigate the jungle of gym equipment for the first time. So go on and reach out, you might just make a new workout buddy or learn something new. And there you have it, 5 beginner boo-boos to bid goodbye to. But before we wrap up this fitness fest, I've got one golden nugget of wisdom that's going to be your gym going game changer. Protein, protein, and did I mention protein? Picture this, you've just crushed your workout, muscles are buzzing, and it's time to fuel up. Aim to down a protein shake or munch on a protein rich snack within 30 to 60 minutes post-workout. Why? 
Well, because your muscles are like hungry little monsters craving protein to grow and repair themselves. Now here's the scoop. Try to get about one gram of protein per pound of your body weight each day. It's like giving your muscles the right tools to build themselves stronger and bigger. And for those of you on the bulk up bus, aiming for about one to two to 1.5 grams per pound of body weight will have you on the express route to Gainesville. But wait, there's more. Protein isn't just the MVP for bulking up. It's like the energizer bunny for your metabolism. So keeping it buzzing and helping you shred fat as you tear it up in the gym. I hope you're walking away from this with some solid tips to bring you to your next gym session. If you found this helpful, smash the like button and subscribe for all the fitness wisdom yet to come. Thanks for tuning in and remember, keep lifting, keep learning, and let those muscles and your newfound knowledge shine. Happy lifting and don't forget to flex your stuff with that radiant gym glow.